Hey everybody, it's Boys with Most Toys with you again today. And it's been a while since I did a Lego former. I actually had this guy almost finished about two months ago, but as most of you know, I have caught the Gundam and Mech Bug, so I've built a bunch of those in the meantime. So I hope you like this guy. This is Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime. Uh, you can see the rigid lines here compared to his War for Cybertron counterpart. Again, the gun can hook between his legs uh, for storage, as well as I'll show you some other neat things what I stored. Um, this guy doesn't exactly follow exactly um, the uh, configuration of the toy or the video game, but uh, you, I think you can get the idea of who he is and what character it is. Um, again, I, the transformation is similar, but slightly different as you'll see in a few seconds. All right, so transformation. Well, let's get a good look at him again. You can see he's, um, one reviewer said his ro his uh, vehicle mode is basically a giant fist on wheels. Well, I don't know, maybe. Um, so again, it's just, I guess he's supposed to be a rigid big bot. Okay, so transformation, a few things, a few points, and we'll get right to the transformation. I'll have to move the camera out for you guys. Okay, so the first thing to get out of the way here is you just wanna separate the legs slightly and you want to pop out the cannon or his gun, his rifle, and that stores in there. You can store it either way. We'll put that on later. You want to take these back panels, flip them both 180 and put them back. They will become the knee pads in robot mode. Uh, you want to maybe just get these out of the way a little bit, these mud flaps. Just helps for easier transformation. And let's see, what will we do next? Okay, we'll pull out the head because that just get him out of the way so we don't have any disruptions so we'll pull that out of the way it's obviously what that is and then we have to pull these fins up and out of the way as well and the shoulders which will become the shoulders and you'll see in a, in a second as well next thing you want to do here is you want to move out these arm pieces a little bit and you'll see why in a minute okay so just I'm gonna back up the camera so we can get a better shot when we put them into robot mode okay so Next thing we're going to do, like the uh, War for Cybertron version, you need to get the feet out of the way, which is basically how most Optimus is transformed. Well, you probably want to get these smokestacks out of the way too, just so you can get the transformation done. So what we want to do is pick up the bottom sections and rotate them. So like actually we just pick them up, it's probably easier. So we pick them up and we take these sections down, move the feet how we want them and away we go move this section forward i'm going to show you some neat stuff there in a second as well so get this to a position where we like and he'll stand he is a very heavy heavy guy so let's get him to a nice standing position that's nice and sturdy and just get the weight the way you want it distributed so that it will easily stand okay so there there we go. Can you see them all? Well, let's get a, a box in here or something so we can get a better angle on this guy. I don't want you to be looking up at him sort of thing. Okay, so that's a better shot, I think. Okay, so what do I do next? Pretty simply, let's turn this head around. And it's us my usual design with a couple color changes. Otherwise, it's the same. The other nifty thing that I did, as I said, to hide the weapons, uh, and they're we basically hide the weapons here as the the bumper and then they fold out into um, swords or blades whatever okay so pretty cool um, you can do the same you can leave them on or you can take them off so that's pretty cool um, I'll take them off because I want to put his rifle on then you can also double them up I'll show you that in a second as well. Oh, it's gonna call me a liar. Well, I can't kind of see over the camera. This guy is just massive. He's a little bigger than my usual Optimus Prime, maybe half an inch to an inch. Uh, you wanna then just finish the transformation by pulling these smokestacks down, pulling his arms back, like so. And you're pretty much done. You can, he has full articulation in the waist as well, if you want. So there he is. So I'm not sure that's a good shot for you guys or not. It's kind of far away. So let's just rotate him around here for you guys to see the different sides, the different angles. Um, we can get a good look at him and his massiveness. 
so he is huge probably 12 almost 12 inches tall and he's a big boy just like the video game just like well the toy isn't big it's dinky um, but you can see here the smokestacks in the back he's kind of hollowed in the back but that's because everything kind of folded up into there but otherwise I'm really really happy with this guy he is a monster so get him back around to standing position to front four facing position again let's get some close-ups on this guy the head's my usual design big chunky legs knee pads and the bulky midsection so there he is guys here is my uh, fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime I think long awaited hope you guys like him um, hope this inspires you to build your own Lego formers 